My teeth look yellow. <laughs> Hello, and today we're going to review this and these are the NYX Liquid Suede Lipsticks. Wait lang, nade-distract ako kasi parang nagdilaw ng ngipin ko. Eh. So I only grabbed two shades, but as you can see guys, these shades, <laughs> these two shades are not your ordinary shades. They, These shades are for cray cray people like me <laughs> no just kidding you know these colors are just so bold and I just gravitated towards buying these colors because I do not have colors like these in my collection so you know I just wanted a change and I you know I love bold colors and I love sporting out of the box colors so that's why I bought these two okay so let's go on to the swatches did I just use these as chopsticks to the packaging now for me I think the packaging is too bulky for my liking but that's just me for me I just prefer sleek like very simple packaging because for this you have this somehow bejeweled top right here and you have this somehow bulky bottom right here just for it's just for me I wish that it was you know sleeker smaller yeah, and I really like that the color is reflected on the packaging because it really helps the user to determine what color you are getting into. Lastly, let's talk about its applicator. Now, when I saw this applicator, I was somehow bummed out because I said, Oh no, it does not have the doe foot applicator like the slanted uh, like sponge tip applicator. It does not have that. It has this somehow curved applicator, as you can see. And at first, I thought that it would be so hard to apply the product, especially that I am working with a bold color, so I really have to be careful. But to my surprise, having this type of applicator right here made it so easy. It is even easier with having to use a doe foot applicator. Wait lang, may dumadaan na nagbibidjoke. Narinig niyo ba yun? So this is what the applicator looks like. And again, I found it easier to use this as compared to your doe foot applicator. And I really think the design has a lot to do with that because as you can see, it is like slanted. You know, it's not a straight up applicator. So how I use this is that I use it like this. Like this slanted one. That's what I put on my lips. Yeah, I hope I'm making sense. The slanted one, that's what I put on my lips. I do not use it like that. I use it like that. I hope I'm clear. I think I'm not clear, but I hope I'm clear. Okay, now let's go on to the pros. Number one is that it is pigmented. You get full on, straight on color if you put it on. And the color that I'm wearing right now, this is just one coat. So you don't have streaking when it comes to this formula. When you put this on, it's just full on boom. Color. Number two is that it is easy to build up. And I'm thinking, who would build this color up? Because one coat is enough. One coat is like in your face color already. But I tried to build it up for the purposes of this review. And yes, it is very easy to build up. You know, for some uh, lipsticks that come in a liquid form, you have to wait for it to dry for you to put on your second coat. But when I did a test on this, I did not wait for it to dry and it builds up like a dream. It would not, you know, the color would not bunch up together and they would not go into the cracks. 
and nooks of your lips. It just goes on smoothly. And number three is that it is not drying. When you look at my lips, it might look matte. Yes, it looks matte, but it does not feel matte. It has like this demi-matte finish to it and you know it's not packaged to be a matte liquid lipstick actually what is written here is that it is a cream lipstick and it is actually like that your lips feel like it has cream on it but at the same time you know it looks very matte. Now let's go on to the cons. Number one is that this lipstick is easy to remove. When you eat, when you drink, or when you smudge this, it would easily be removed. It would fade, it would go away of your lips like saying bye lips, bye. And I realized this when I tried wearing this lipstick and I ate a burrito. When I looked at my burrito, it was full with black lipstick. Number two is that this lipstick is not transfer proof. It is not kiss proof, so you know. It would transfer. I'll demonstrate it. There you go. So you just have to be really careful with it, especially when you have like bold dark lip colors. You have to be careful because it would really transfer. It still transfers when it is already set. Now for this lip color right here, I let it set for at least five minutes that's a lot guys five minutes and i'm sure that this lipstick is already set for the day but still this transfers and number three is that it feels heavy as i said earlier what i have here is only one coat and my lips feel like it is carrying three luggages i don't know maybe it is the formula because the formula comes in a liquid form but at the same time it is also creamy so that might cause it to feel really heavy but when you put this on expect that you feel that you really have lipstick on and then some so it feels heavier than your regular lipstick would you like to kiss me okay <laughs> So, guys, this is a review from CY. This lipstick attracts dogs to kiss you, okay? So that's it for my review. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you found it helpful. Don't forget to subscribe and all that shit so you don't miss any of this. And also go download my app. The link is down below. This is Tish, this is CY, and I'll see you on my next video. When I'm not here, you can find me at these places, so like my page, follow me, stalk me, no, don't stalk me, but let's just be friends.